so let's let's flip the script here a little bit. Established as a park back in 1985, the Umfulosi Shikluwe Game Reserve is the oldest in South Africa. That's quite a badge of honor. It was once a hunting ground for the Zulu Kingdom, but today it is a tourist attraction that holds so much of our history. Not forgetting, of course, home to uh, the famous Big Five. So we went out to go and find out a little bit more about this very special one-of-a-kind game park. The Umfolozi Game Reserve has been in existence for over 120 years, making it the oldest one on the African continent and the second oldest game reserve in the world. The land on which it was built holds so much history about the Zulu people and the development of the reserve was not only to benefit tourists but also to upskill and empower the community. Chief, talk to us about this land before the game reserve was built in the area. What was the land used for? Long, long time ago, before King Shaga take over as the king of the Zulus, the land was belonged to Inkosi Kapashi When Shaga took over as the king of the Zulus, there was a, a man called Menziwa. Menziwa was a brave man. King Shaga sent him to go and attack Inkosi Kapashi King Zwite was wishing to take over the land, even including the Zulu land. King Shaga denied that. When he, he ordered Vundlana to take the Kekli, he denied to take the Kekli. Doesn't want the Kekli, he wants the land. That's where King Shaga told him that the, the, the Mfolozi area, up until the Mshatuze, this is your land, we are, we are becoming a chief now, under my authority. That's where the, the deficiency of the Biela came from. A Big Five reserve, Mfalozi was the home of Operation Rhino. It pioneered animal capture and sustainable utilization throughout Africa and is now a major force for social development. Mary, what was the inspiration behind developing it into what we're experiencing and seeing here today? When we were developing a rural project for Nkosi Mtembo, I asked him, what are you doing with all this land? And he said, you know, they're not doing much. So I mentioned the idea of, of a game reserve, and he then led me onto Nkosi. We started the process, and that was uh, to, to get the relevant approvals, because this land is administered by in Goyama Trust, and then that's how we we started. How has this game reserve benefited the community? The community, with with the two lodges that have been built so far, employment's been 297 people been employed in the construction. Training colleges have come out here to train the staff for hospitality, but we're hoping that within the next six months it'll get busy, and that that will then in turn will have more people employed. In the long term, the lodges are going to be given back to the community, financed through banks. Th that process we're still following. I must admit, I had no idea just how rich in history this place was. To think it was once just a hunting ground for the Zulu Kingdom, and today it's a fully-fledged development, enriching and empowering the community. Definitely a hidden gem in our country worth checking out.